Top of the morning to you, 7 o'clock here on CW30. So glad you're with us. I'm John Paul. I'm Caitlin Lockerbie. Memphis is getting ready to celebrate its 200th birthday. City leaders already putting together plans a year ahead of time. I know it's a big party. Years in the making, 200 years in the making. City leaders making sure that everything is in place to make sure it's a success. CW30 Jude Fretting working this story for us live in downtown Memphis. Jude, you found out how much this celebration is costing the city. Well, later this afternoon, Memphis City Council will discuss the Bicentennial Gateway Plan. They're working with about $5 million that's already been factored into the city budget. Now, the celebration will focus on the history and future of the Bluff City. It's coming out of the Tourist Development Zone funds. The project is a series of revitalization plans that include the Pinch Districts, Mud Island, and the Riverfront. It's all a part of the city's plans to celebrate 200 years of being on the map. Now, while the city's been planning for this project for a while, they prefer any possible derailments. Earlier this year, state leaders pulled more than $250,000 that was set aside to help the city with this bicentennial celebration because of the removal of two Confederate statues this past December. Now, while Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland told CW30 the extra cash would have helped, they aren't hurting without it. The city was putting in money, the county, private money was raised, kind of like the MLK 50 commemoration. Uh, in fact, we, we had not planned on the state money, um, so, so it would have been good to have it, but we will adjust and, and it'll be fine. After the state pulled the funds, a local resident created a GoFundMe account to help offset the cost. Now, we're told she raised over $65,000, and the city was happy to accept that money. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Jeanne Francine, CW30 Morning News.